MLB The Show has just released this All-Star Week program, and it might have some of the best rewards that we've seen from another program for the whole season, other than like monthly awards or something like that. In this All-Star Week program, you are going to get three draft cards, nine All-Star Game cards, a pack that lets you choose between one of these three packs, which is the Draft Pack, the Home Run Derby Pack, and the All-Star Game Pack, which could all give you about 50k if you get lucky and you get the rare round or you just get a free 97 overall and it also gives you a non-auctionable any one of the 99s from those three packs so you could get Yandy Diaz, Randy Rosarena, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. or one of the draft cards. That is a really good pack. This is probably the best pack that they've released all year from a program that's not a collection based thing. I'm sure you want to do this program and I've completed it as you can see I didn't want to make a video on this program until I had completed it so I could tell you guys the best way to do it and prove to you guys that it works the way that I did it. It took me a couple of hours and then it's done and then I haven't opened my pack yet. I'm going to save it for a pack opening video but I do have the pack right here. I also got all of these Diamond Duos packs while doing this as well this diamond duos pack which is really good because these are the 40k value packs that's really good to see and then also five more diamond duos packs from the conquest now i also got the 40k pack from the conquest as well but i'll get into that in a little bit so the first thing that you're going to want to do when completing this program like every other program is you're going to want to go through and complete every single moment some of these moments are a little annoying like this one that is a three inning game with one of the draft squads in future stars players and another one where you have to come back in the eighth inning and end up winning as the national league in the all-star game neither of these are like hard but they are longer than most moments so it's a little bit annoying but you'll get it done then of course you have the conquest map that i was talking about earlier as you can see, you're going to get the Diamond Duos Choice Pack, which is really nice to get. It really is. You're also going to get a few other packs here from completing this. This is not too difficult to complete. There are only seven strongholds. That doesn't take too long. That's only 21 innings. That's only 21 innings. That's about two and a half, nine inning games, not even. So it's not that long of a process, to be honest. And then while you are completing that conquest map you are going to want to be getting the hitters and pitchers that you are going to be getting from this path so if you've completed the moments you've got seven i believe you get up to 30 with the moments so you're going to get all the way up to this bryce elder you're going to have four of the draft players and two of the all-star game players you're going to throw those into a team you're going to use them you're going to get stuff done like playing with the 2023 series players that's self-explanatory just play games with them pxp with the hitters again just play games with them pxp with the pitchers again same thing you could win a game against the mariners i didn't do that i don't think it's worth it and then also getting pxp with all-star week program players so those are the players from this program so the draft players the kodai senga the bryce elder George Kirby, Austin Hayes, whoever is in that program, you can complete that with. That gives you 10 stars. Along with that, you're also going to want to get on base, or you're also going to want to get on base 15 times with the draft series players. I just use the ones from here. On base is getting hit by pitch, getting walked, or getting a base hit. That's really easy to do. That's basically just 15 singles with those cards. 30 strikeouts with these all star series players. If you're using these cards in the conquest you should be able to get around 30 strikeouts just from those seven games again if you're playing with these cards in conquest 18 innings pitched is not very difficult because you're just doing it in the conquest and then along with that you can also complete the hits with all-star series players i didn't have to do that one and also home runs with home run derby series players these home run derby series players do not just have to be the current home run derby players they can also be the past ones that you're getting in team affinity as well like chris bryan or a jesus aguilar while you're doing the conquest and you still have a lot of other positions because you're not pxping all of your cards from that program you're gonna have a few other positions that you can use as well and with those other positions you're gonna want to fill them up with these captain cards or these bosses or these classic cards from team affinity so that you're knocking out two birds with one stone 
you can be knocking out the team affinity while you're knocking out the draft program which is what you want to be doing because you're completing multiple things at one time you're getting closer to multiple set collections at one time and you're getting closer to that free 99 overall pack so that's what you're gonna want to do and that's how you get the best pack that they've released all year other than collections and yes this is a no sell but this vlad will pretty much be usable the whole year if that's who you want or this randy whoever you want just make sure you pick one that you are actually going to use because they are no sell so just keep that in mind